Okay, so uh, Dima, thank you for being here at the uh, Vegas Show 2014 at the Electromedia Showroom in the Orleans Casino Hotel. Thank you, Luca. So I'm proud to be here, really. Okay, so we are here in front of the Prima display. So if you want to take the opportunity to give some some question to me, I can uh, give you some some replies. As I see, it's a new lineup, and uh, could you? Tell in a few words what is the main uh, concept of this lineup, what is the primary goal, what is the customer? Yeah, actually, uh, the concept behind Prima is uh, a totally new concept of car audio. We are, uh, we, when we um, thought about Prima, we thought about the final result of the installation. So, what uh, we are going to propose is a complete solution. So we, we propose it to the market, uh, the sound pack, the Prima sound pack, which is a, a composition of a different product to, to make a sound pack to get the car, uh, give the best performance with such pack. We are starting with uh, uh, like a Golf, a Volkswagen Golf uh, a 6. And in the kit you can get the ham and speakers and all the accessories uh, to complete the installation and even you get the bit dry setup to, to get the car tuned for your own sound. Okay, it's a good question because I saw a lot of spaces like this but uh, as I understood Prima concept is not just to put the speakers through some rings. You told the uh, bit setup, what does it mean? Yeah, uh, actually when you get the pack Together with the pack, you you get also the beat drive uh, set up. So with the beat drive, you can get your sound. Uh, and the beat drive is, uh, uh, I would say, the setup file for the DSP, which is in, built in in the amplifier. So what the, the dealer has to do is just to hook it up, all the system, uh, together uh, with the plug and play harnesses and uh, install the speakers. And once uh, uh, the installation has been completed, uh, the bit drive file, setup file, can be flashed into the amplifier with a simple USB connection to a PC, uh, and then you get the sound. And the sound has been conceived and approved by all these own R&D engineers, uh, which got the car and refined the sound uh, specifically for that model. So we could say it's not uh, just plug and play, it's no, plug and uh, sound. That is plug and sound. Right? Yeah, okay. So that's really the plug and sound is the concept behind the Prima and the beat drive setups. And the primary goals of uh, DSP is to eliminate all the bad things in it. Yes, the, because, the, because in different cars uh, we yes, have some DSP, different problems. Yeah, uh, the, the, the great advantage <coughs> we got with DSP is because we, we had the, uh, the, the all the knowledge we got by developing the B1 and then the B10. Uh, so once we get the opportunity to integrate the DSP inside the amplifier, we got the opportunity to uh, make the de-equalization uh, because uh, uh, each uh, OEM unit has its own e uh, equalization to make the system work. So even if you replace the speakers and the amps, if you if you didn't get the, the equalization in the uh, in the amplifier, you you cannot get the best result. But thanks to the DSP inside, if you equalize to remake flat the response of the system, and then you apply the equalization for your own, and it's actually the equalization that you get with the with the bit drive file then you get the performance you, you want. Yeah, and uh, so I can a uh, little bit adjust by my preferences. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, so you can start from the, the bit drive setup file. So you can, you can start with the plug and sound concept. And, and uh, after that, you can connect to the amplifier and refine the sound for your own. This is a, an opportunity we give to the dealers to make the system sounds for the uh, to, to, to completely satisfy and fulfill the requirements of the consumer. Oh, it's cool. And a few words, uh, I see uh, visually the same blocks, but as I understand, uh, you are going to produce different type of amplifiers. With yes, basically what we did when we started concepting Prima, we did a, a huge market analysis on a car the speaker location and the number of speakers, type of speaker, in, into the um, uh, best-seller cars. And after only after that we, we conceived the models line out. So uh, we started with the a, a AP 8.9 bit, which is actually a nine channel DSP amplifier that got eight channel power amplifier. 
And the, I will say that this is the masterpiece of this line because with a channel plus uh, RCA output that goes to the subwoofer, you can fulfill almost the requirements of the cars in the market right now. Um, after that, we conceived the, the AP 5.9 bit, which is a five channel plus four preamplified output driven by the DSP built in. And then we got a 4.9 bit, which is again a four channel power plus five channel pre out DSP. And, and of course, we got the mono amplifier, which uh, doesn't have a DSP inside because. Uh, uh, you can use the mono amplifier in combination with the 8.9 or the 4.9 to power up the subwoofer. And what we did more is uh, we have conceived also an AP4D, which is actually a four-channel amplifier that can be combined with, the, uh, for example, the 4.9 bit. So you can get like an amplifier which is 8 by uh, 75 watts. So you get eight channel, 75 watts, all driven by the DSP, and then you get also an additional pre-output, uh, amplif uh, pre-amplified output driven by the DSP to, to get up to AP uh, 1D. So you can get a system where you can get uh, AP 4.9, AP 4D, and AP 1D. So totally, you get an amazing system, a really high power system, and you can stack up all the three amplifiers together. To save, to save some space. Uh, yeah, you save a lot of space. It's great. It's great, but as, as I see, it's not uh, all, because I see full DA logo and... Uh, yes, in fact, when we <coughs> conceived the AP 8.9, 5.9, 4.9, uh, we looked for the full DA uh, compliant, for a full DA compliant system, and then we, we added the optical input. Uh, so through the optical input, you can get the full DA system uh, from the heat unit uh, up to the uh, speaker output. And um, I have to say that we consider this because uh, as we are showing the BitPlay HD here, uh, the best of the system for the OEM integration could be to get the full DA as the source of the system and then you get the amplifier that uh, gets the built-in DSP and uh, a lot of power, uh, as much power as you can get, combining the different models. Thank you, Luca. I'm really impressed. Thank you, Dima. Thank you for your time, for your question. Thank you.